Throughout the course of a day, you might find yourself typing today's date frequently. Don't do it anymore. Simply press control semicolon. That's the date at the time of this recording. That date will stay there indefinitely until you put other data in there. It will not change. If you do want to enter today's date so that it will adjust as you open and close the file day after day, you want to put in the function equal today. Certainly not a shortcut exactly, but a handy tool to have. This puts in the date dynamically. So as we open and close this file and save it, this date will get adjusted automatically. If you want to put in the current time, control shift semicolon puts in the current time. If you'd like that to be a dynamic entry and also change as you open and close files, you want to type the function equal N-O-W, left parenthesis. Initially, this will put in date and time. You can leave it that way or format it differently. So anytime it's today's date, simply control semicolon. I think that's the tip you're going to be using most often. And by the way, if you want to put in a nearby date, sometimes it's going to be pretty fast to simply, for example, type control semicolon, maybe highlight with the mouse here and put in the 23rd, something like that. So you don't have to do much typing to put in dates that are similar but nearby. Very fast. Control semicolon for today's date. Control shift semicolon for the current time.